Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. Let's get into the stand, I think. Not quite yet because See that? Can't do that. We can explore some more. Of course you can. The mode that once encircled Sentinel Stand has long since succumbed to the harsh uh, environment. Standing water and patches of moist dirt are all that remains. Oh no, I did not see that. <laughs> Another one? We really are n nearing the end, I think. Can't Look do at that. all the great stuff we get. Unfortunately, it's all for Barrick. Titan's hoof is worse than that. I believe. Wait, plus. Plus 9, plus 10. Crush. I think this one is better. Potency, though. If only Donald had surrendered years ago. Such needless carnage. No, oh, what was that? This this favorite mission report is back to four. Uh, 430 TR. One entry stands out from the meticulously organized hall. It describes an, an evening patrol where the soldier spotted a crimson spear meeting with a Star Wars captain. Whoever wrote the log must have intended on reporting it to their superior officer, but fell in battle before they had the chance. Of course, it's Glaive. Can't do that. Please give me some bows, throwing knives. Those are the weapons we've been using for the entirety of the game. Yet we get none. <laughs> I appreciate your help, but there's still the matter of this first storm. Our troops won't be able to advance until the tornado is dispatched once and for all. I will stall this artifact when I clear the path through the storm. That thing <laughs> looks more like a cloak beam from here, but these winds haven't been kind to my eyes. She nods toward the wind wall. If it can get us through the storm and into the heart of the sentinel stand, I won't question the will of Kairos. Lead on, Fatebinder. An abundant well with rusted gear wheel. I think I gained something, but I don't know. I'm ex for sure. Okay. It's time we can finally walk through the wind wall. Leave the steadfast, in steadfast insignia up towards the storm. The window will part as you hold the steadfast insignia aloft. Dust and debris swirl around the cone-shaped absence projected before you, which stretches into a tunnel of preferable air. The insignia's jewels begin to glow brightly, as if invigorated by this parting of the wind. Whatever dormant state the artifact occupied, it is now awake and full of new potential, should you desire to use it. So can I now equip it? No. Fine. The path remains open behind us, making way for friend or foe alike. Sentinel Stand has never been more exposed. Can it be? A figure approaches through the storm! The virgin skyblade seems ready to approach and welcome you. Dawning realization comes to her expression as she hoists up her weapon in a stance of challenge. Announce yourself, invader. We haven't sat in, eye the, in, sat in the eye of storm this long to become slaves of Kairos. 
Take us to Stratus Heroin. Very advances on the guard with a menacing air. I don't want to hear any more of your petty threats or how much you love your country. Deliver us as the serpent at the heart of, the, of this nest. Whoa, there we go, boy. I just watched a thumb all day. Stratus is behind the walls. She glances in your direction with wonder. The... the insignia. The sentry lets out a startled yell. Someone bearing the region's insignia comes this way. She squints to make you out in the storm. Why have you come, stranger? The wind wall is open. I suggest you leave with your lives or join the mound of bodies I left in my wake. The soldier looks to her countryman and gives you a once over. This madness isn't worth dying for. Not even the regent would fault us for taking the chance to leave after all this time, would he? Considering again, the soldier shakes her head and dashes for the opening in the wind wall behind you. Good choice. Can't do that. Massive spikes split apart the castle walls here, the result of tremendous winds that passed through long ago. Dying? No, wait, it's blood. A stranger, and they let you through? Wearing an uncertain expression, the scout grasps his weapon. I don't know what sorcery carved a safe passage for the storm, but the Regent's fortress is close to outsiders. Out of my way, Pia. No amount of stalwart rats can keep me from wrapping my hands around the Regent's throat. You look presentable after a year in isolation. The keep is stocked with provisions enough to last us a century, though the region hoards much for himself. The soldier's case we are in doubt. This keeps them demands new leadership if the lowliest grant speaks so openly of their commander. He shakes his head and refocuses on you, raising his weapon and advancing a step. Don't try to distract me. Stand down and surrender or a voice bellows from the other side of the portcullis. Stay your weapons and raise the gate. I would speak with our guest. He looks over his shoulders and frowns. Step forward and present yourself then. Keep a respectful tongue and you won't have any trouble. Easy have a itsy bitsy problem with being respectful as of late. Star Wars ruler looks at you with a mixture of caution and amazement. His gaze lingers on the steadfast insignia. Huh, that explains how you are able to pierce the winds. But why have you come? Not to liberate an enemy, I think. He squints. The long isolation has taken its toll. But we aren't deaf to news of the outside world. I think I recognize a fate binder when I see one. So logic follows that you are the keeper of vengeance well. Herodin! Varric pounds his fists together, hard enough to shake the earth. Come out and face, scoured! You've dodged this recording long enough. The virgin blinks. Do I know you? Your face. What little I can make of it eludes me. He sniffs and returns his attention to you. Your friend here seems a mite unstable for emissary work. We've survived in the overlord's prison for over a year. I live on, and so the regent's bloodline endures. Even the disfavored couldn't breach Kairos' wind wall when the addict crashed upon our heads. Though I'm less certain how you managed. He regards you with a hint of resignation. You didn't travel as far to deliver terms of surrender, did you? This storm is destroying... Uh, okay, I'm Kairos' agent, and you will surrender your disfavored prisoners to me. You will return her to us, fiend, alive and unharmed, or so help me the people of Star Wars won't even recognize your remains. His eyes narrow. While I live, this is the safest fortress in all the tears. Amelia is in better hands than anywhere else on the Tarratus. As your prisoner! 
the prey of the monster release her now or perish by my hand. If you've come to liberate her, I assure you the effort has been wasted. She isn't going anywhere. Oh, well, the Archon of War might show you mercy if you hand her over. Spare me your empty promises. Graven Ash cares for conquest more than family. He could live for centuries more and no doubt sire a hundred daughters. He wants to see this edict come to an end along my bloodline, and I venture he would make any sacrifice to that end. I am not ignorant of my past in this equation. The edict can only be ended with the blood of the last regent, just as Kairos decreed. He nods. I must warn you, I haven't survived this long only to be cut down by Kairos' lapdog. I endured the war, the disfavored suicide march, and the long isolation of this storm. I won't make it easy. What was that about this favored suicide march? In the second year of the war, my personal forces captured one of Graven Ash's elite legions. We divided their numbers for our own protection. Some here are also at Dusk Watch with plans of bargaining with Ash for their lives. You prayed on the Archon's love for his troops! Monster! The war came to a... let's uh, shall I say... climactic stalemate when a disfavored force a master on sentient stand to drive us out and liberate our... our prisoner. A thoughtful expression overcomes him, but he disperses it with a shake of his head. The rest, as you know, is history. Before the disfavored could finish their desperate attack, the edict swept up my people and Ashes Legion like they were made of straw, battering bones and iron into so much dust that now swirls about our heads. I remember that day too well. If you had but surrendered, then hundreds of northerners and southerners alike would have been spared. Starward bows to no one, you are ready to rust and entropy. Herodin promises at Barrick and shakes his head. Your presence alone dirties this in these noble defenses. What have you gained from this long stalemate? Beyond the hatred of your people. He hesitates to answer at first, then screws his face in a grimace. The people don't know what is best for Star Wars. We need a strong leader who understands the traditions of the realm, whose blood is a part of what that storied heritage. If they spite me for preserving our strength here and outlasting the war, so be it. I did not accept this mantle for adoration. What have I gained? I have kept Star Wars alive in the self-imposed prison, whatever else you may think. The desperation to reach this place and end my life only confirms the righteousness of the decision, as hard as it has been. A true leader would have fought to the very end rather than hide here. Your doubt is understandable, but why should I have fought a losing battle? Star Wars regions have always endured where others fell. In Sentinel Stand, I could outlast any enemy. And how could I have known that Karos would be so exacting in punishment? Well, he could have ended this edict long ago. You mean by suicide or execution at the hands of my countrymen? His expression withers. That would betray the dignity of my station and the honor of my soldiers alike. In caving to the order world's will, we would lose the very thing which makes Star Wars great, our perseverance. I took no pleasure in washing storms ravage my country. Here from the safety of the eye, I have suffered the weight of that decision every day, but I would never second guess it. Your burden is nothing to mine or that of your people. To consign your country to this is unforgivable. When Kairos called on Ash to submit, he chose his soldiers' lives over his pride. You are a coward, and I'll see it. You die like one, too. 
I'm going to end the edict one way or another. Will you help me or not? I will not. And you are a fool to think that I would accept such an outrageous proposal given everything that it represents. The very pride of my station hinders on rejecting your impossible solution. He raises his voice for all to hear. As regent of the great realm of Stalwart, I eject you from any courtesy of in or invitation that holds you to these walls and banish you from my lands. Typical that the attendants of Kairos present no agreeable terms. You may distort the histories or to reflect that I forced this confrontation, but everyone here will remember that when your overlord locked me in an impossible choice, I chose Stalwart. Harodin turns away and heads through the portcullis. So we're fighting? I'll get in it. Move back. Oh, Another but at least we healed! <laughs> You hit them. Consider it done. Pay attention, kids. You might learn something. <laughs> Of course. We'll do. Can't do that. Oh, of course you can. Just got the belief in yourself. Sorry, I can't. So where, whenever we, wherever, doesn't matter where we go, <laughs> we can uh, sp not spread. We can go through the storm either way. This wind is battered and appears barely functional. It looks mm, like it could break at any moment. Give me a moment. Nope, we're not. Jelly, oh. how come? She still it cannot go life. through. This is so weird. Yes. Uh, are you serious? Help me, god damn it, help me. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with her. Why she won't help. Heal me, 
I will do this. I have no idea what block kills and shadows over here. But I think we're gonna level you up and then I'll end this part here. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.